begin up at City Hall on May 6th, the Land Use Committee of the Bald Board of Aldermen invited the entire board to hear from the Director of Planning about the proposed new zoning ordinance. It was introduced in January and it was meant to be approved this spring, but the concerns and in some cases the consternation coming from residents and aldermen have forced the city to slow down the process. SNN Director Jane Regan brings us more. The mayor showed up unexpectedly and he recognized that many are not happy with the proposed code. We've gotten some really constructive feedback. In some cases people don't like some things. Okay, it's incumbent upon us to provide, and George Poink is going to talk about this, to provide some information back to the public and the board. Uh, to talk about some of the studies we want to, at the suggestion the board would like to engage in. And he made a plea for the board to collaborate with the planning department. And to some point, we will land in what I hope will be a common place. City planner George Proakis proposed a new schedule for more public input, but board president Bill White wasn't totally pleased. And this body is a separate branch of government. So to the extent that a member of your staff is going to, and again, maybe it's not going to be um, as if folks watching this could assume that he's going to direct maybe when we should have meetings. Um, you know, I've, I've expressed some concerns about how the process began, um, you know, how this was, you know, placed upon us um, and with, with, with our goal and our obligation to the citizens. Yes, there was an input, a process of input with some public meetings that, you know, you folks had, and we have the summer vision. You see, before anything was published and submitted to this board, I would have liked that process to have taken place where we could have gone over some of these things. Some aldermen want the process slowed way down and pointed out that summer vision took three years to write. If it took us three years to do a visionary plan, uh, I'm not quite sure that I understand the rush to do the actual detail in, in a six-month period. Aldermen were also upset that Proakis didn't have responses to the over 1,000 comments and critiques submitted over the past months. Greater than 1,000 comments, concerns, whatever, were presented to you. To you. Are you suggesting in this um, proposed um, consideration of timeline that July is when we as the board will be hearing your and your staff's opinions of those comments as a, as a breakdown? Because that's what I thought I was getting tonight. We need to have a good process that engages the people on this board, but most important is the substance. And there's been a, a ton of really uh, serious critiques, and, and I want to see responses to those. Alderman also asked City Hall to pay attention to their concerns. So at some point, we're voting on this, and we're making decisions, and I feel like we've had several meetings. I feel like we should, as a board, be coming up. We sh our concerns should be listened to, and we should, that should adjust for what you're going to do, what you're going to present to this uh, community. So I feel like maybe we should be doing our job first, telling you what we want to see changed, Columnist Bill Shelton was at City Hall that night. Well, the meeting was fascinating because the zoning is uh, certainly transformational uh, legislation, but what it's transforming is not just the zoning, but the Board of Aldermen. The Board is beginning to look like a truly deliberative body. Uh, it's, it's, resemble, it's beginning in its independence and its um, uh, willingness to hash out, to hash through legislation and think carefully about what it's doing and debate real issues. The next board meeting on this issue is on June 4th, but you don't need to wait for a meeting to get involved. Go on to the city zoning website, here's the address, check out the code, the parts that interest you, and also people's comments. Get in touch with your alderman and tell him or her about your concerns. But no matter what, if you want to have a say in what the future Somerville looks like and feels like, you should get involved and soon. For Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Jane Regan. Now, a related story. On May 13th, Proakis and his colleagues unveiled the latest design for the redevelopment of Union Square in the surrounding neighborhoods. After giving a chance to look at the plans and drawings outside, the meeting moved inside for a presentation and then a question and answer period. There are concerns about the parks, 
building heights, job creation, affordable housing, and a community benefits agreement, and many other issues. Here is a look at a few moments from that evening. So what are we here? We've heard a lot from you folks over the last few months. Time is a very important context. In regards to the various D-lots, what is the timeline for the proposed changes? For example, when should people expect a rebuilt Bow Street? All right, we're going to get a little more specific. If the public comment scenario results in building beyond the zoning height restrictions, how does that work? We changed the zoning. I mean, the short answer is, if the community consensus says you want a big public common and taller buildings, what I would do is I would basically set up a system, I mean, brainstorming here, I would say we give people the extra height in exchange for that, we collect something to cover the cost of, the, of, of, of purchasing the land for the green space, um, and you use that extra height benefit to basically spread the opportunity so that you can afford to create the green space as, as a part of the whole project. I mean, there are a lot of community meetings and design shreds in which residents brought up displacement and gentrification concerns. How is that very live and critical discussion, how is that very live and critical discussion informing the design process or your process, which is the design process? That was just a glimpse of the meeting, which lasted over an hour. If you want to watch the entire meeting, go to this shortened URL, bit.ly forward slash May 13 Union. And if you want to download the CD's presentation, which includes the drawings, go to bit.ly forward slash Union Design. <laughs>